Hello everyone, so it's a cold and snowy morning here in Sweden and I'm on my way to a place called Skans 211 which is located right outside of Serna and Skans 211 is a fortification to prevent enemies from the west to gain further track here this fortification consists of around 170 forts and one tank barrier and I'm going to explore that today and hopefully take some nice pictures and found, find some interesting places to, to see. Closing into the tank barrier, which I already have seen from the road, and it looks really amazing. Uh, a lot of uh, pointy stones that are set up here in in the forest, and as I understand, they are roughly around 1.85 meters uh, in total length. So, uh, so they are dug down a bit and they were transported here by train before placing them here and as I read they were deciding between digging a like a trench barrier or uh, this type which are a stone tank barrier and and it looks very nice <laughs> outside one of many machine gun forts uh, this one also houses a little garage for 37 millimeter tank artillery and as I understand most of this uh, was built starting at 1940s and continued on for a few years <music> I have found a few like these now and basically just a room and I think uh, what they have been is just an ordinary storage place for ammunition. As you can see it's uh, just small pallets so I think they were uh, just a storage place. 
and here is just a dugout hole which uh, were a KSP shelter as the sign says. This one is a little different than the others that I have seen today. I wonder what this is. They have they had a lot of options as it seems from which direction they were firing. And here is a hatch. Aha, this is the entrance. One of the entrances. If I go up, go around here, there is an entrance too. Oh. Let's head inside. Like four beds. And here they could uh, take, aim, take aim on enemies. I suppose they work like shifts here, sleeping and guarding. No information about this one, but this one looks really looks like to be some kind of storage storage space with some shelves and looks like to be another room here ah more storage or is it beds <laughs> They look quite large. I could I could fit, but it wouldn't be comfortable. But I don't think war is comfortable. Ah, I will I will leave that unsaid. Here is some storage at least. Here is here is an old leather glove. Well, this looks like bomb shelters and imagine yourself bombs flying and you're stuck down here. I would not like that. <laughs> they have, it looks to be like thicker here and thinner there. This part does not look like bomb proof to me, the first part. I will now go over to the other side. Uh, as you may see, the tank barrier is uh, stretching through over the main road and continuing on to the other side. I will explore the other side now. little turret maybe so you can basically fire in all directions here 
this one seems to be a little bigger than uh, the rest. Let's uh, go inside with this one with that turret on the on the top. That one looks a little more modern than the others. I'm thinking that this is for a little bigger artillery than the rest. And here is the ladder up to, to the top. I wonder if it's just a lookout tower. Seems seems for me like it like it would be your view. Okay, so I am done here for today and uh, I hope you found this video to be a little interesting and informative. If you did so, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. It would be appreciated. Yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!